Yo guys, what is going on? Bobby here and today we got another dope video for you guys. So today what we are going to be doing is ranking all four of the legendaries in the game. So what we're going to be doing is going through a ranking. So who's the fourth, third, second and best legendaries in the game. We're going to be doing four games. Um, I guess we're going to do Brawl Ball since Brawl Ball is a fun mode. You can kind of play any brawler on Brawl Ball. And the first game obviously is going to be with the fourth best, second with the third best third with the second best, and fourth with the best. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's definitely going to be a cool video. If you want me to do ranking videos like this in the future, definitely let me know. But anyways, let's hop into the games and let's show you guys what the worst legendary brawler in the game is. Okay, so here we go into our first game and the worst legendary in the game is going to be Crow. And it's definitely been Crow for a while now. So Crow was the best legendary or at least one of the best legendaries. Uh, for a long time it was always top two literally since it came out because it was one of the first legendaries to come out in the game it was one of the original i think 16 it was brawlers maybe it was 15 and i mean crow's just an awesome brawler he used to be super super annoying which is kind of what he is right now but i feel like he's kind of lost his touch a little bit uh one sec need to save a goal there we go gonna shoot this ball up Gonna go down, but we saved the goal over there. But anyways, Crow is kind of a confusing brawler because I feel like every brawler kind of has their role. Um, you guys know, like for example, Piper is a sniper, Daryl is a tank, Bull is a tank, uh, Mortis is like a goal scorer type of thing. But I feel like Crow just doesn't have his spot. He's an assassin with his super, but he's long range chip damage with his attack. And I feel like just because of the fact that it contradicts, it just makes him a little bit of a just weird brawler to play because he doesn't really spe specialize in one thing. He's kind of just good at a couple things. So you guys can see in this game, like a good player can kind of hold their own as Crow, but he's definitely one of the top, or sorry, one of the bottom 10 brawlers in the game. Definitely not up there by any means um, on anybody's list, and he hasn't been for a while. But honestly, I'm happy because of that. Or I'm happy at that because he, he used to be so annoying. He used to be like the best brawler in the game or at least one of, and he was super annoying to go up against. Nobody wanted to face Crow. He was very meta and heist. You couldn't play anybody, any comp on any map without a Crow on your team, and that was just honestly super annoying. So I'm happy that it's different now. Uh, let's pick up this ball. We're going to be able to get that goal. Good goal over there by us. Anyways, anyways, like it, I'm, I'm just super happy that he's not a meta brawler. I think Crow's actually in a really good position right now where he can definitely be played in like every map. You guys can see I'm not struggling at all. I'm holding my own. Everything's kind of chill, but at the same time, you know, he's a little bit difficult to use. Oh, I didn't have a shot there. If I did, that would have been a really nice goal. I can't take over a game by any means with Grow, but definitely, you know, can hold my own. And that is going to be why he is the worst legendary in the game. So let's see if we can end the game here. If you guys disagree, definitely let me know in the comment section below. I, I think this one I'm pretty firm on. I, I believe you guys will be able to guess who the next one is, but... If not, I mean, guess in the comment section below before, you know, you guys see it. Maybe you guys will get it right. Who knows? But anyways, let's hop into the next game and let's talk about who the third best legendary brawler in Brawl Stars is. So here we go into the next game. And as most of you probably could guess, we're going to be going with Leon. Now, just like Crow, Leon was once a very, very good brawler. Probably one of the top three most broken brawlers at the game ever at one point. He was that strong. He was absolutely killer. Right now, he's not that good. He's definitely a favorite in Showdown. A lot of people think he's the best Showdown brawler in the game, which I completely understand. I think he's one of them. I think it's currently 8-bit, but besides 8-bit, I think it's definitely Leon. I'll just sneak out of here. Invisiheal is also just way too overpowered, in my opinion. Invisiheal's gotta go. It's just way, way too good. Gonna go down there. We have a hard time killing Franks. Um, the star powers are definitely better for Leon than they are for Crow. Star powers are something that's really, really, really important when it comes to how good a brawler is. I personally like the run one, but as of right now, the Invisiheal is just way too strong. Okay, we did a ton of damage there. Unfortunately, though, that Poco had a heal, so we weren't able to do anything with it. But there's not much more I can say about Crow. He's probably his best mode is Showdown. But as a competitive player, I don't really value Showdown too much when I go into my Brawler rankings. But what I think is the best. Ooh, we're going to go down there, but good kill over there by David. Uh, but yeah, he's just a middle tier Brawler. Probably two, one, two, or three slots above Crow, or if you, if you look at the overall Brawlers. But nothing really that special. His best mode in 3v3 is probably Gem or Bounty, something along the lines of that, where he can face people that he goes strong up against. Like right now, I'm facing a Frank, and facing a Frank definitely is not OP as a Leon. 
could be able to get that kill. It literally took four whole clips to get that kill. That just shows you how like tough of a time Leon has against tanks. Should be able to get that kill. Oh, I got him to one shot. That's unfortunate. Gonna be able to have our sneak in one shot though. Gonna go invisible. Try and get on this Frank. Ooh, almost had the kill. David and Ali are gonna need to get that stopped. They're gonna be able to. I'm gonna go invisible. Spamming my shots. Gonna be able to get a couple kills. Ali's gonna clear the ball. I'm gonna go invisible and gain some HP and actually be able to kill that Mortis over there. That was a really good kill. That just showed you how OP Invisiheal it was actually. Two nerfs ago or two balances ago, that wouldn't have been a thing. Even last bounce, I would have gone down there and we actually would have lost that game. So that's exactly why I'm using Invisiheal. Really good example of it over there. Gonna be able to pick up that kill. David, pass the ball. Oh, I think I can't get that goal right now. I'm just gonna go invisible. Try and sneak and get this ball. Almost have my super again. Gonna be able to get it over there. Probably gonna pass the ball to Ali. Mm, pass the ball. She wasn't able to take a shot, unfortunately. She's definitely gonna have to pass it. Jump Ali. Okay, she's gonna be able to stay alive. David now has the ball with super. He's gonna pass the ball right over to me. I'm gonna give the ball back and he's gonna put it right in the net. That was a really, really good ending to that game. Really amazing teamwork by myself, David and Ali. But that is going to end the second game and this gives Leon the third rank. So this next one is actually super, super close. It's going to be really hard for me to give this brawler the second slot. But let's hop into that next game. and Let's show you guys who the second best legendary in Brawl Stars is. Now, for the second spot out of all legendaries, we're going to be giving it to the homie Spike. Yes, you heard me right. It is Spike. And Spike has had just an amazing history in Brawl Stars. You can probably give Spike the best brawler of all time when it comes to overall consistency. He was never an absolutely broken brawler by any means. But, I mean, he's just such a good brawler. He's always been a good brawler. Um, his star powers have always been really, really great. You guys can see I'm not even using Curveball. Don't even need it. Uh, this other star power is really good, and it's probably, it's less noob friendly, so I prefer using it. But Spike has just always been OP, just the make of the brawler, the type of brawler that he is, the fact that he has range, the fact that he has those little spike shots that shoot after, even if you miss, the fact that he's, you know, really, really high DPS, it just all comes into play when you talk about how good Spike is. And, you know, he just shows it off. In every single meta, he's very strong. And if he's not the strongest brawler or top 5, he's like 7th or something. I don't think he's ever been below the 7th best brawler in the game. If, you're, if you were to look at any tier list, it's always the same. And he doesn't really have a weak mode either. He's, he's not that good in bounty, but he's definitely playable. Let's pick up this ball over here. Gonna be able to get that kill. Really good healing over here. And obviously, I don't have to tell you guys how OP Curveball is. You guys already know. And like... There's shots like that too, where you also get like 2.5k damage for absolutely no reason. Just a really annoying brawler. You guys can see I'm just rolling over teams with him. Not a challenge whatsoever. Could have passed that one off. David's gonna put that in the net, but I mean you guys just see how much I'm destroying. And I really wanted to put Spike first. I really, really, really did. Just because he's been so good for so long. And normally I would, but there's just no way I could put the brawler at number one. Um, anywhere but number one. Oh, get in the net. Oh, almost bounced in the net over there. But, you know, there's no more I could really say. He's an A in, in... I'm pretty sure he's an A in Duo Showdown. He's definitely an A in Siege, A in Brawl Ball. He, he's very, very good in some heist maps. Very good in some bounty maps. There's just no way you can stop the spike. Especially when you have a really good player playing him. It's just incredibly hard to beat a spike with a good player. And he, that's why you guys see Spike so much in tournaments is because he's just that good. So we're going to be taking out over there. Really good play by that Sandy. Or not that Sandy, sorry. That M's. But that is going to end the game, and that is going to be the second best legendary brawler within Brawl Stars. Definitely got star player there. Really amazing game. Let's hop into the last game, and let's show you guys who the best legendary in Brawl Stars is. So here we go into the final game, and you know... It would have, you really would have had to have a really interesting and strange argument if you were to say Sandy is not the best legendary currently in the game. It just by far is. There's no way around it. It is so, so, so 
good in just every single mode absolutely dominating you guys see what i just did literally just walked through a team it is such an incredible brawler it is so amazing just to play this brawler and just the ultimate power of it is unreal and this is after a very big nerf as well so he was a or she was just absolutely amazing you guys can see i'm still cycling supers even though it takes more hits to get them just absolutely amazing i finally go down over there after doing tons of damage being one shot to another super but you guys can just see the absolute power we have running through these teams, doing everything. Absolute S tier or A tier in every single mode within within the game, hands down. Let's get our super. Gonna use that healing. For any... Like, it's just... Invisible Brawlers are broken, in my opinion. When Leon came out, it was broken. When Sandy came out, it was broken. It's really hard to make an invisible brawler that won't be broken, especially within the top end of players since they're so smart. I think let's go for a trick shot here. Okay, that was that was kind of a bold trick shot. There was no way that was going in, but that would have been too quick of a game. I wanted to explain a little more. Both the Sandy Star powers are just in extremely incredibly good. There's like no way to stop them. There's no way you can avoid them. They're just part of Sandy. Try and get our super. Let's try and get that down. And then obviously, I, I've said it enough, the invisibility is obviously OP. She's amazing in 3v3, amazing in all the solo modes. And then, you know, extra heal, extra damage if you need it. You name it and Sandy's got it. So, I mean, definitely the strongest legendary in the game. Gonna catch that over there. Gonna take that shot. Oh, doesn't go in. And we're actually gonna go down. I thought that was actually gonna be a goal. No other way to explain Sandy outside of broken. The only thing that would make her more broken is if you use your super like EMZ and then it would follow you around. That would have been insane. Thank God they didn't do that. David's slowing down the bull over there. We're getting heal and slowness over here. Like, what more can we ask for realistically? I'm gonna see if David could pass up the ball. Okay. I auto him by accident. But anyways, that is going to end the video. That is going to end the ranking. So I hope you guys enjoyed this legendary ranking. If you guys want to see this with overall brawlers from the common brawlers, you know, rare brawlers, just let me know and I will definitely put that in some future videos. But that's going to be it for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this is obviously fun to make. I enjoy making the videos, but that's going to be it. If you guys liked it, leave a like. Tell me in the comment section below and I'll definitely make more of these. But for now, that is going to be it. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.